Okay. I haven't done a video for a while. I've just been busy doing my normal stuff. Uh, cutting wood. You know, we haven't had plus snow for a while, so it's been in the wood now. But I thought I would talk about the uh, the speaker of the house race that's going on. It's funny because it's got the news media in a hell of a tizzy. It's surprising uh, that they can't see what's going on, but that's all right, you know. Um, I think they're on, well, this would be the 12th. If they go today, they're supposed to start at noon, but I think there's going to be like five of them missing. Now, I don't know. You know, they have some reason they can't be there. Uh, it's unusual, actually, that they've had them there that long now. Uh, they're not easy to get work out of. But in theory, they're going to be starting again at noon but I think that's about going to wind it up I suspect you know part of the deal you know there's 20 holdouts or I've heard it referred to as insurgency but I thought that was funny but they're doing what they got to be doing more power to them but I think they've accomplished what they needed to accomplish, so I, I think this will wind down fairly quickly. Uh, you know, it's funny that people can't see what's actually going on, including a lot of the, well, all of the Democrats. Uh, it amazes me how, how stupid they're being, but that's yeah, that's their problem. I probably shouldn't give them any clues. But, okay, these, these holdouts are upsetting this whole apple cart for these people. They can't get this McCarthy above 200. He's got to be, what, 218. So he needs to work with these 20. Or I think 21 of them kind of comes and goes. But they've been pounding away at this and they keep getting the same result. Uh, but in the background that people aren't paying attention to, there's a lot of negotiating going on. And I think they've come to the point now, you know, it's funny you watch every... After every vote, McCarthy looks a little paler and a little weaker, and, and, and that's what they need to do. They need, to, you know, he went into this thinking he deserved this. This was his job. And he even moved into the, the office. You know, he was all ready to go. And then these 20 aren't cooperating. But if you, you know, like all the news people and uh, even Trump was saying, oh, yeah, phew, you know, uh, put him in there. But they know better because he is uh, like the ultimate rhino. It's funny because, like I say, the Democrats are behaving very stupidly. And they keep doing, you know, voting the same 212 votes for the guy they got because they're running. And there's no way in hell that's ever going to happen. If they were smart, what they would have done after like the third vote, you know, because they really want, if they got to put up with a Republican, McCarthy's the man for them. You know, he's, he's part of that uniparty thing. He's right up their alley. So if they were smart, they would get together and uh, a few of them kind of take one for the team and get McCarthy on there because as time goes by, like I say, there's this negotiation going on in the background. McCarthy is getting weaker 
and weaker and weaker. Which, like I say, is a good thing. He's got to make more concessions and more concessions. And even at the end yesterday, they were, uh, <laughs> they were making sure to get these concessions in writing because they do not trust him at all. So they want him down on paper. So basically, they are, you know, uh, he would be a nuisance to have in place But they are, through these concessions, neutering him to the point where he will be not so much of a problem for the Republicans. You know, he, he's weak anyway, and this will weaken him even more. You know, the concessions that they're having him make are, are things that need it to be done. But it's funny, like I said, these, these Democrats sitting there uh, thinking, oh boy, aren't we, you know, we're voting right in lockstep. You know, Pelosi trained them to do that, uh, you know, to vote in a group, always in a, you know, they, they she would never, you know, like MacArthur here, he, he threw this out there. And he didn't have it locked down. That's something that Pelosi never did, would never do. You know, as hateful as that Wicked Witch of the West was, she knew enough to have things locked down before she ever brought them to the floor. But this guy didn't. Uh, just arrogance, you know. Figuring, yeah, these people come around. Yeah, they aren't coming around. But these Democrats in there constantly voting in lockstep, like I said, that's something that she trained them to do. They're like trained seals. You know, they'll sit and bark when she wants them to. It's really, it's, it's, it's sad. But if they were smart after about the third vote, They'd have thrown a few votes to McCarthy to get him in because at that time he wasn't a big threat to them. But now that they have weakened him so much through this series of concessions, you know, uh, these Republicans are sharpening their knives. Every, every time he takes a loss is a gain for the Freedom Caucus. Which is, it, you know, and the gains are things that are needed to be done. So they're doing the right thing. And it's funny because, like I said, the news media, they're, they're all in a tizzy about this, how horrible this is, these, these terrible insurgents. But if you read in comments, uh, normal people looking at this, seeing what's going on, are, are saying, you know, oh, go at her. This, this is what needs to be done. Because in the end, uh, like I say, he, these Freedom Caucus, they are sharpening their knives to go after the Democrats. So more power to them. But McCarthy, if he'd have had his way, it'd have been business as usual, and a lot of this stuff would have never been uh, settled, would have never come up. So, yeah, I'm all for it. But it is funny. I mean, you read uh, what the news media says and what some people who are foolish enough to not understand what's going on, thinking that these people are, are just posing out for themselves. They're not. They're, they're holding out for the people they represent. And that's what it should be. You know, there's too much of this party nonsense and not enough of actually representing the people who elected you. So I'm glad to see it. But we'll see what happens today. Like I say, uh, they were they were going to put concessions down on paper and get him on record. 
So hopefully that'll be settled today, unless you get some wild idea that you can you can pull it out of the hat again. But they're they're being persistent, and that's what it takes. But that's his own fault. I mean, he should have locked that down. You know, it wasn't until a short time before this came up that, you know, he's always wanted to be speaker, but he was, you know, playing both sides of the fence, and then all of a sudden he decides he's going to be a real conservative to get some votes, you know, right before this election. People see through that. They don't forget that. So he's... Taking a show lacking, which he well deserved. So I think in the end he'll probably be the speaker, but his power will be greatly diminished. Uh, you know, because one of the things they were he was working on was to get him to uh, lower that threshold for vacating the chair. You know, because Pelosi had jacked that up to what had, it had to be half of the representatives and uh, now it can be down to one to demand a vote on vacating the chair so yeah, they've got him where they want him and where you want him if you knew what you were looking at so it's good to see well and go back to work it's funny this morning, you know, I'm using this grizzly pulling a sled now because got the snow got too deep for the for the cart, but the sled works good. But I noticed this morning here, I have to look out the window early this morning, there was a real little deer standing out here. It's hard for him to get around. And I think this one is an orphan. So it's been following my trails, you know, because uh, the snow gets packed where I drive, and all trails lead here. So, <laughs> little deer was standing here. Uh, he's been getting in the, the feed that I have for the horse, but that's all right. I'll actually have to leave a little out for him. And I was suspicious because I've been seeing little deer tracks, real small. And then this morning, that little deer was standing on the trail here. But, you know, uh, I know that dead one I picked out on the road. That, that could have been a relative of his. Because I had a doe and two fawns that were living right around here. Now, uh, I suspect that uh, the one of the fawns got hit on the road, and I suspect that the mother probably got shot during deer season there's a good chance of it or hit by a car again i mean uh, traffic kills way more than hunting you know it's funny i mean people complain about hunting but traffic kills way more but this little one was looking healthy and so i'll leave a little extra food out for that oh i was gonna well i should I'll see how this works. Um, I do get sometimes complaints because I'm using my phone for this. And sometimes people can't hear me. You know, the volume is too low. Well, I, you know, I have no way of controlling the volume. But I did buy an external mic that I can plug in. But I have to make a slight modification to the case of the phone. Uh, the hole in the outer case isn't big enough to let the mic make contact, so I have to change that or not have the case on the phone. But if I don't have the case on the phone, the cold temperatures uh, run the phone battery down really quickly, and I have a tendency to drop on the phone, so I want to leave the case on. But I'll, I'll take my drill and drill that hole a little bigger, and I'll see if that doesn't work. Yeah, well, I guess we'll, we'll see now on this on this speaker thing. Uh, I have actually watched every vote, you know, 
because though it seems like a minor thing, it isn't when you have a decrepit president and an incompetent vice president. You want to look at who's down the line and having a rhino in down the line is not a good thing. But like I think, like I said, they got him neutered, so I think it won't be quite so bad. So he's going to have to watch himself very carefully what he does and says. He's going to have to become more conservative or he'll be out on his ass. But we need that because there is a lot of work that needs to be done. You know, people squawking, oh, we should uh, get this over with and get to work. If they'd have put him in right away, a lot of these jobs that need to be done wouldn't be done. You know, they'd be glossed over. There, there's a lot of people who have to pay for some of the things that they have done. And now I think we'll have the right people in place to do that. You know, it would be great to have somebody as speaker who was more conservative. But I think we're going to be stuck with him. But I think, I think we can work with him now. Now that they have beat him into submission. So we'll see. Like I say it starts at noon again. And I'll have to keep an eye on it. To see where this goes. Because the only thing that could screw it up would be is if the the Democrats threw some votes to him. And if some of them held off and didn't vote, that changes the whole perspective of it. That could get him to that number that he needs. But I think their vanity won't allow them to do that. You know, they're, they're in lockstep and nobody would want to go against that. But they'll be in lockstep like a chain gang. If they realize what was happening, they would change their mind. But like I, I think, I think the vanity is going to hold them. They'll keep voting for themselves, though they ain't got a chance in hell. To save their own asses, they would be smart to get to have got him in early. I think it's too late now. But if they'd have put McCarthy in, if the Democrats would have given McCarthy a little help earlier on, we'd be in a lot worse shape. I think it's too late for him to do much good now. But the whole, you know, like I say, they made a lot of concessions, but that could blow up if he works out a deal with, with the Democrats. And I don't put it past him. Uh, the only thing, I say it's vanity, is holding them from doing it. They can't bring themselves to vote for a Republican. And that's okay. But by the way, they talk about them as, as the insurgents, the rebels. That's politics. That's how it's supposed to work. You know, that whole thing about uh, deciding this stuff in committees, never discussing it on the floor, all this stuff. You know, people are amazed to see uh, those representatives actually there in attendance, actually doing their job. Though they come dragging their ass in at noon and they like to get out about three or four in the afternoon if they can. They're not hard workers. But at least they're there. They're not doing that proxy vote nonsense. Another thing that Pelosi had them trained to do. You know, you're getting paid to do that job. You damn well go there and do the job. So we'll see. I'm, I'm curious to see how it works out because like I say, this is way more important than you think it is. Yeah, 
for getting snow again. But at least it isn't, uh, I haven't had a fall snow for whew, maybe a week now. That's been great. And it's been like teens, getting up almost to 20 most of the days. And after we got used to that 20 below for a while there, you get acclimated to it. And if it gets up, like if it hits 20 degrees, you're warm, you're, you get too hot. You start taking off clothes. Well, I have to say though, you know, like I haven't done a video for a while, kind of out of the swing of it, um, kind of lost interest in it. YouTube's gone a strange direction. You know, but that, there again is one of the things that they really have to have away on is a lot of this, uh, the social media, the way they've been influenced. Uh, a lot of that's got to change. And those 20 that are holding out, that's where your change is going to come from. Otherwise, it would be just business as usual. And you don't want that. You, you think you want them all to to get along and get this settled and be done with it. That is not to your benefit. You do not need business as usual. You see where that gets us. So boy, I'm glad uh, they put themselves out there to do it, but they're doing it for you. So don't go complaining. But it's funny to watch the news media people, they have no grasp of what's actually going on. None at all. But they've always been rather clueless. But it's, it's almost humorous to read, to see what they say and then read in the comments what normal people are saying. It's a whole different world they live in. You know, back to work.